Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today's video is going to be kind of a different one for me. I mean, I don't do these videos like super often, but um, in today's video, I'm just going to take you along and go book shopping because it's been a while since I've hit up some of my favorite bookstores in the area and also, you know, and I do have some library holds that I need to go pick up at my library and I also want to go and check out Value Village and see if they have anything interesting. And so yeah, it's just going to be like, you know, a casual you know, day where I just do some book shopping and I'll just bring you along with me for fun. I'm considering also like I might try a new Starbucks drink because I've heard that they have the like shaken espresso drinks. I haven't actually tried any of the like oat milk shaken espresso drinks, but I've also heard that they're like kind of sold out everywhere right now. So I'll see if I can find a Starbucks that actually has them. But yeah, um, it's just, you know, it's a chill March afternoon. It's a Friday today and I just thought I just wanted to, you know, do some book shopping because it's been a minute. I'm also today while I'm driving around and while I'm book shopping, I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook for XOXO, which is this really cute um, young adult novel that I've been listening to. And in this romance, we are dealing with a K-pop star and this other girl that's Korean. You know, I'm just on this like Korean kick right now still, even after I finished my, you know, Korean reading vlog that I did. This book was also like highly recommended as like a cute young adult Korean book. And so I'm listening to this one. And yeah, I'm just gonna be taking you with, so let's go. Uh, the first stop is going to be the bookstore that has the ARCs that I always like rave about in any like reading vlog that I do when I visit that store because they're amazing. I haven't been there in like a little over a month, so I'm curious to see if they have anything that's gonna be exciting. So let's go check it out. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
hey, hi, I'm back in my car and I ended up getting five books while I was there. I found five arcs that I'm so freaking excited about. I'm gonna wait to do a haul for like everything at the end of this video, but for now I am going to hit up Starbucks on the way to my local library. I just ordered the iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. It's one that I hear about quite often, but I have never tried it. So I thought it would be fun to try it with you on camera and then I'm gonna head down to my local library and pick up my library holds. Um, hi, I'm picking up an order for Gabriella. Yeah, Gabriella, we have it. All right, thank you so much. All right, we'll see you at the window. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Okay, I forgot to bring my own straw, which is totally my bad. And this drink looks cute. I only got a tall because I was afraid I might not like it. Like, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But yeah, um, I usually, I do like oat milk, but I've never tried the new like brown sugar, like syrup or whatever it is. So I'm curious to try it. All right, well, let's give it a go. Mmm, that's interesting. Okay, well, I don't hate it. So that's good. I don't know if this is like my favorite, you know, iced coffee beverage, but I like it. Mm. It's like a little bit more bitter than I was anticipating, but I also like don't really mind it for some reason, you know? Maybe it's because it's like bitter with sweet and I do really like the oat milk. Well, that's dope. I'm glad to have finally tried this drink because I've been wanting to try it for such a long time. But anyways, let's head to my library. Okay, so I just got out of my library because I was picking up my hold on Sundial, which is a thriller that I'm hoping to read very soon that I'm so excited about this book. It's the same author as The Last House on Needless Street. So very hyped for this one. But while I was there, I forget that my library has this like little section where they have like cheap books. And the last time that I was here, I noticed that they had like a ton of new releases. Books are only like three to four dollars. Okay, like this whole area. It's amazing. It just says donated from friends of the library and you can just go to the help desk and pay for these books and they're only like three to four dollars for new release books and bitch look what i found a hardcover new copy of good rich people for only four dollars what the hell like i need to remind myself every time i go to the library to like check that area this was my favorite book that i just read last month so like i'm so excited to find this copy it's beautiful it's so stunning in person like i just love the colors and like wow so i'm so happy that i finally own this one because honestly like this is a book that i might try to get my mom or my sister to read so like i'm glad that i have this like wow my library freaking comes in the clutch like holy shit not only do they have like you know new releases that i can mostly get my hands on like pretty right away but like wow i think i'm going to head out to value village now and see what's going on over there that'll probably be our last stop for the day because i've already spent some money on books i mean not that much i've only spent 14 dollars this whole day so far but value village will be the last stop and then i'll do a haul with you when i get home
Oh my god, look at who I ran into. <laughs> oh, well, just got out of the gym. Oh, yeah. And I'm in town. Yes. And oh my god. We I just ran into like, my daughter. Yeah, I was in the other aisle and I was like, is that my mom? Is that my mom? <laughs> what? Well, because I brought her up here. How crazy. Like, how random. <laughs> of course, I run into my mom at Value oh. Village. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh, so how funny that I would run into my mom at Value Village of all places. My mom frequents Value Village very often, so it's not so shocking that I would run into her here, but like, what a lovely surprise. So the sad thing is that I wasn't able to find any books at Value Village. I mean, they did have a pretty good selection, but most of the books that I was interested in, I either already owned them or, you know, I, I did find some books that I previously donated. <laughs> um, so they do have like a good variety of like newer releases. There just weren't any that I'm particularly interested in. I did get a couple different t-shirts and like plaids that I'm so freaking excited about so I will show you the clothes that I got when I got home and all of the books so now I will show you all of the books that I got as I mentioned um sundial is the book that I picked up from my library and this one's a thriller that I'm hoping to read very soon maybe I'll include it in a you know upcoming thriller reading vlog and then you know as mentioned I did pick up good rich people from my library I can't believe I found this there for only four dollars then you might be asking yourself which five books did I pick up that were arcs from my bookstore and I do often get questions about how this bookstore has arcs and like how that works and so the bookstore is called Village Books and it's in Fairhaven and it's basically like they just have this shelf that's downstairs where they put all the arcs that I'm pretty sure the bookstore receives those arcs but then since they're not legally allowed to sell them they just have like you do a two dollar donation to the store for every arc that you take basically and I don't know I think it's a really cool way for arcs to get kept in circulation you know because a lot of times i feel like with arcs it's like what else are you supposed to do with them just donate them all now i just think it's a really cool thing that my local bookstore does i'm very thankful because i always find so many books that are probably not even out yet or that are just coming out because they have arcs it's incredible but anyways one of the books that i found was black girls must be magic which this could not be more perfect timing because i just got the audiobook checked out for this from my library and i was actually hoping that i would find this one there because one of the previous times i went to this bookstore i was able to find black girls must die exhausted and then this is the sequel black girls must be magic i think they can both be read as standalones though like i don't think you have to read them in a series but I really, really loved Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. It surprised me so much and it ended up being like one of my favorites of last year. I just really like this author's writing style and this was her debut book. So I'm so excited that I found Black Girls Must Be Magic and I'm probably just gonna be listening to this on audio very soon here and following along in the book. So I'm so happy to have found this book. Ah, this cover, it's beautiful. And then the next book that I found there is Cherish. Farah, which this one is a, I, I believe it's a young adult thriller that I've just been hearing a lot of really good things about. Yeah, it's about this 17 year old girl named Farah Turner who is one of two black girls in her country club community and the only one with black parents. And it's about how her best friend was adopted by a white wealthy family and she's what they like to call white girl spoiled. So it does say that it has searing commentary on race and class in this slow burn social horror that will keep you on the edge of your seat until the last page. This one sounds so interesting too because I know this author has previously published some other young adult books but I don't think this author has ever published anything within like the thriller or horror genre before so I'm really curious to read this one I've been seeing some like mixed reviews so far but it's definitely one that I've had my eye on so I'm so excited to have found it there and then I also found a copy of real easy this one is another thriller that just recently published in January that I've just I've had my eye on this one too this one takes place in 1999 and it says a compulsive tenacious and unexpectedly hopeful thriller set in a midwestern strip club told in the spirit of Gillian Flynn and Tar Tana French and then one book that I found there that I'm pretty excited about is The Harbor. This one is a thriller that it just came out at the end of February and I actually I was interested in this one because I saw uh, one of my favorite Instagram accounts, Abby, her username is Crime by the Book. Um, she mentioned this book recently and how she really enjoyed it. So this one kind of went on my radar because of her. This one just says, it's a beautiful day in April when 15 year old Oscar disappears. He never came home from school the previous afternoon and his family is frantic. The police assume he's a runaway. 
runaway, but what runaway would leave his parents with the brief lines typed on an unsigned piece of paper? Ooh, so he left behind this like creepy little note. Yeah, this author has also previously written um, The Butterfly House and The Tenant, which I haven't read either of those two books, but I am very familiar with them. Like I've just seen them around the book community quite often. So I'm definitely curious about this one. And then the last book that I was able to find, oh, I'm so excited about it. It's um, This Might Hurt by Stephanie Robel. And this one is another book that just came out at the end of February. This is like one of my most anticipated thrillers because this is the same author as Darling Rose Gold, which was a thriller that I read like, I think like two years ago now that I really enjoyed. But like, oh my God, ooh, I'm so excited. This is a dark thrilling novel about two sisters, one trapped in the clutches of a cult and the other in a web of her own lies. I not only love, you know, books that are about sisters, but like one of them is like dealing with a cult, like what? And then I did want to show you the rest of the clothes that I got at Value Village, just if you're curious, because I'm so excited about some of this stuff that I found. Value Village tends to have like really cute, cheap clothes, so I kind of go crazy sometimes. The first thing that I got is just this cute navy blue crop that says Yellowstone on it. Um, have I ever been to Yellowstone? No, but I'm obsessed and I love shirts that are cropped at like this level. It's kind of like a lower crop because I hate when shirts are really high cropped to the point where they're like above your belly button. Like I'm not about that life, but I really like shirts that are kind of cropped like this where you could wear like leggings or like high-waisted jeans with it and they're not going to be, it's not going to be too a regular shirt, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just cute, it's perfect. I like, ugh, love it. I just, I love it so much. And it was only $2.99. Like, do you see this shit? It was only $2.99. Like, you literally can't beat the prices at Value Village. Every time I talk about Value Village, everybody asks if I live in Canada, and the answer is no. I live in Washington, and we do have Value Village in Washington. What a concept. Anyways, um, I got this, the 1975 shirt for my sister, because, um, she's a huge fan of the 1975, and I saw it there, and I was like, no fucking way it's like perfect and it's so soft it feels like brand new and then i also got this shirt from forever 21 it just says arizona on it and this one the crop is a little bit higher than what i'm usually comfortable with but it's just so cute like uh, i just love it so much and and i also got it just because i do really love arizona i've been to arizona a number of times I've, you know since i grew up in california we used to go all the time so i just love like uh, isn't it so cute I can just see this going perfectly like under, you know, a plaid shirt or like with some leggings. Like, oh, it's just perfect. And then this shirt. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be so excited about this shirt because look at this shit. Oh, it's an it shirt. Isn't it so cute? And then look on the back. Look on the back. You'll float too. Bitch, are you kidding me? Like, isn't this the cutest shit? Oh my God. I've been wanting to get more like shirts for like my favorite horror movies and books and stuff because you know i got my halloween shirt i actually have two halloween shirts now and then i have like my squid game shirt which i know isn't exactly like horror but i just want to own more merch for the things that i love and so i was pretty excited to find this it shirt there i just think it's so cool so fitting i'm gonna wear it like every day in october probably and all year long because <laughs> Who am I kidding? And then I did end up getting two plaids, which I'm really excited about both of these because, okay, look at this one. This is just like so cute. It actually looks like a plaid shirt that I used to have, but this one feels like way softer. And like, I like that this one, it looks like one that I can just either wear like on its own, or it looks like one that I can wear with like something under it. But like, ugh, isn't it so cute? And then the last one that I got, oh my God, I nearly screamed when I saw this because I literally was thinking about buying this off of American Eagle last year around like Christmas time because American Eagle they sell these really cute plaid shirts that are kind of like slightly cropped and they have them in these really cute colors and so I found this shit okay I know you can't really tell but it's cropped a little bit in the back like this is not the length of a normal plaid shirt and like oh my god can you believe this like they just had this there and it is the american eagle brand but like this this is it this is fucking real okay and it was only seven dollars like what <laughs> what let me like put this on so you can see what i mean about the cropped okay do you see what i mean do you see so this is the arizona and you know as i said this one's a little bit more cropped than i like because it does kind of like go up to the belly button but then look at this like this is the perfect length of a plaid shirt for me like i am obsessed i love 
the length of this plaid shirt. Like I wish all plaids were kind of cropped like this just because I think it looks so much cuter. And like, I mean, what do I really know about fashion? Like absolutely nothing. Nobody would ever look at me and be like, that's a girl that I want to take fashion advice from. Never happened. But like, oh my God, isn't it just so cute? Just to show you the difference in the crop size. Macy, just to show you the difference in like the crop size. Um, This is the length of like a normal plaid shirt, which I still really like this shirt. Okay, don't get me wrong. Like I really really enjoy this plaid but if it was cropped like just a few inches right here that would be so ideal you know what i'm saying like the crop on the plaid just like makes my life better but this is still like a cute time you know like this is still like it's adorable i don't know if i would wear this red with this red like i don't know if it matches i'm not a fashion expert okay yeah see what i mean this is like a green shirt that is cropped but it's more comfortable like where i want it to be cropped at it's not like too short and then this cute plaid cropped with it is this not cute this is happening now i just anytime i get new clothes i'm like i have to try it on with like everything to see what outfits i can do so yeah that is the end of this video this was a fun cute little time thank you for um hanging out with me today <laughs> let me know i guess if you would like to see me do you know kind of simple vlogs like this more often just kind of like taking you along going book shopping with me i definitely plan to um you know this summer i really plan to do more kind of like the book shopping videos that i was doing last year where i would go to like different cities in washington and go book shopping and just go all out you know until then um i i do like the idea of you know every now and then maybe like once a month or once every two months kind of doing a video like this that's just like a more simple you know come book shopping with me and let's hang out all day so yeah, let me know if this is something you would like to see me do again in the future. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have read any of these books that I just hauled in this video, then please let me know because I would love to know your thoughts on them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.